Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this demo, we're going to build a building and we're going to be using a number of drawing tools and 3D modeling tools to construct it and add features. So the first thing we're going to do is create our sketch. Okay, and this is very important. What we wanna do is we want to um, select the bottom plane here, okay, right here. And this correlates to the top cube. We're gonna select that and that's gonna bring us to our top. And something I wanna point out is that uh, there are letters that correlate to the different heights and widths of the planes that we're working on. This is the Y X plane. And if you'll notice the Y at the top and the X across from it representing the height and the width. Um, so yes, we are working on the Y X plane. That's important to know. And we are going to start with a sort of foundation for our building. So I'm gonna create a rectangular shape. Okay, and I'm gonna finish sketch, go to extrude, give it some depth. And that looks fine to start. Okay, and I'm just gonna go with that. So now I'm going to build off of this, all right? And something else um, to know is if you wanna change this at all, you can go to move copy and see how it's selected by faces. You can um, select different faces and then change how thin or wide you want something. Okay, so let's select that. And let's see if this works. There we go. All right, so that, we change the depth of it okay, cool. and the height as well. All right, so we're gonna start with that and we're going to create a sketch and I'm going to build off this face here and I'm going to draw another part. We're gonna, maybe this will be our central part here. Okay, and um, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, finish my sketch. And let me fit it in over here. So we're going to go to extrude, extrude that up. And I'm gonna zoom out. All right, and we have our first part of our building right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna explore this fillet tool. And what the fillet does is it takes sharp edges and it rounds them out. So you're gonna select different sides. Once we select it, um, which is here, you could also find it in the modify menu, which is right here, okay? Okay, so we're gonna select that and it's gonna ask you to select a different face or a different side. All right, and different ones do different things. So let's explore this one here. An arrow pops up and how you, um, has a very different effects of what it does, depending on how you slide that arrow, okay? Um, so this is one possible, you know, of many options, uh, but let's choose a different side. Let's choose this one, see what happens. Okay, that goes over here. And this is just a little bit of a bevel, not nothing extreme. So in a lot of architecture, there's just a little bevel like that. And it's just a regular feature. Okay, so that's how that looks from there. And then let's try it from the top. Okay, very interesting effects. All right, cool. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm gonna leave that, that is fine for me. And I'm gonna create a, so this is the fillet tool, all right? And so now what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the chamfer tool, but we're gonna create a sketch first and build our building up even higher. Our sketch, extrude. Okay, that looks fine. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do, as I mentioned before, is we're gonna go to our chamfer tool. And the chamfer tool um, makes sharper edges at an angle. Pan up. Okay, so this is found in the modify menu. It's right here and it bevels them. All right, so again, it's gonna ask you for corners or sides. Let's start here. I started at this corner. I didn't start at a face, but at a corner. And this is, you know, a slight bevel, but if you wanted to take it further, you can go here, here, all the way to, um, I believe a triangle. Sorry, I'm having, having some issues here. All right, so that's something you can do like there, but let's try it from a different, place. Let's try it from here, see what happens. All right, does that. Okay, so just a lot of things to experiment with. We can just leave that and I'm going to do it again. That looks pretty cool. All right, so this is my interesting feature, but I'm actually going to go a little more basic. I'm gonna do it once more, and I'm gonna go here and just do a basic, actually, hold on. I'm going to do it here. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to add features that, um, take away or add. And we're gonna do that through the extrude. Um, but first we're going to um, use patterning tools and there's two types of patterning, but first we're going, there's the uh, rectangular and the um, circular patterning, but first we're gonna create some sketches of some of the features that we want to uh, pattern. So I'm going to just go to, okay, we're gonna choose the face here. We're gonna go to our drawing tools. And for this one, I'm going to choose my rectangular ones. I think here I'm going to do um, rectangular patterning. So I'm going to draw a window. You can draw whatever you want. You can use it with whatever feature or drawing you want. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. And over here under create, we have our rectangular patterning here. So what we need to do is we need to select right here where it says objects. When you select it, you may only select one single line like that, but you need to select each line of whatever it is you're doing. So I'm gonna zoom in, okay? And you wanna hold down shift so you can select, well, let me see if that, no, you don't have to hold down shift, okay? So once everything is selected, you have four selected, that shows you how many. And then um, you can start to drag the arrows and depending on what's in the field here, uh, this says three, we could change it to four. All right, and then once you drag it, it sets the denomination of how far it is by where you drag. So you could either control it in the distance, um, which is up here. It's, you know, this is how much space is in between them. So an inch 90, uh, but if you don't want that, so you can control it that way um, in the distance or through the arrow. But let me get a little perspective here. All right, so let's just see, let's just say it's fine. Okay, for now. Um, I did forget one thing, and that is you could have gone down. All right, so let me just do that again. Create. Okay, we're going to select all of our sides again. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I'm going to choose four again. That looks good. And then, hold on. Pan. and now you see there's a down button, uh, an arrow, and you can do it that way, but I don't want three, I want, so down here is the up, down, uh, north, north, south. And this part here is the east, west here. So I'm gonna change that to two. All right, and we have two, and now I can, can shore up the distance more like that. All right, cool. So that's how you do rectangular patterning. 
and we're going to do some um i'm going to do some um removal all right so i'm going to finish my sketch i'm going to extrude and i actually only want certain ones of these Okay, and so that's the way I'm choosing to do that feature. And then over here, I'm going to do an example of um, circular patterning. And then I'm going to let you go and experiment on your own. So we're going to create a sketch again. And I think I'm going to work on this part now. And I'm going to go to my circle. And because we're working, you can do this with rectangles or whatever you want. But um, because we're working with circles, I mean, a circular patterning, I thought maybe circles would be appropriate. OK, so I'm going to set that. And now I'm going to go to my circular patterning. But what we need to do first, actually, is we need to um, create a point. So that is under create point. And you're going to put that wherever you want the circular patterning to revolve around. All right. Um, so hit OK. We're going to go to our circular patterning. It's going to ask you to select the object and the center point. So the first thing is the object, which is this. And then the center point, you want to go and manually select that. OK. And these three appear here. All right. It's just set to three but you could change that um in this drop down menu right here so over here you could change the quantity let's do four and okay i like it but um i think it's a little off center It's not working. And that move copy does interesting things. So you could actually change it to a um, something like this, and you can move it around like that. So there is a free form thing when you um, hit this, and then you could use this arrow to change it in interesting ways too. So all of this um, does really interesting things. All right, so there's a lot to experiment with. So I'm just gonna leave it, it is off center, but I'm going to just for the sake of time, just keep moving on. I'm gonna finish sketches and this is an additive feature, okay? So over here is a subtractive feature we took away, okay? Here we're going to add. So we're gonna do that the same way with our extrude and select what we want. And these are gonna come out, all right? It is a very ugly building, but it demonstrates all of the different things that we did. And those things, just to review, are, uh, first of all, we created our shape uh, from the top view, which is the bottom uh, bottom uh, thing that you pick when creating a sketch, and that is the Y, X plane. And once we built that foundation, we create sketch and we build off of it, we use the fillet tool to create this rounded area. We built another building off it and we use the fillet uh, I'm sorry, the chamfer, all right, to create this beveled edge. But before that, we also use the mirror tool, all right, and we use rectangular and circular patterning. So all of these different functions must be used when making your own building. And uh, I look forward to seeing your creative buildings and hope this was helpful. Okay, bye.